Roots. We've got new information tonight about the grandmother right at the center of a murder-suicide investigation. In addition to mental health issues, it looks like she was also suffering financially. News 8's Tina Detella is at the New London Newsroom at the day with more on what she has found. We've heard about the mental illness plaguing Deborah Dennison, but there are other troubles she and her family have had to deal with. An emotional Deborah Dennison outside court February 25th, 2010. She is seen carrying the red bag after her son Christopher Allen is sentenced for killing a man on this mystic boat. We talked to her off camera where she expressed sorrow for the victim's father. After the hearing, she went up to him to apologize. Now, almost three years later to the day, police say she took the lives of her two grandsons on February 26th, two-year-old Alton's birthday, his little brother Ashton, just six months old. Police say Dennison shot the boys and then turned the family-owned gun on herself. What is there to say? It's over, it's done with, you know, she's with the grandmother of those babies. There is another young man profoundly affected by this tragedy. Dennison's other son, just 13 years old, has now lost his mother. The first selectman tells News 8 a crisis intervention team was at the teen school, Mystic Middle School, today. We have also learned Dennison had financial troubles. Several liens were put on her Stonington home. Troubles that now pale in comparison to the loss being felt by her family. Her daughter is an exceptional woman, and so is my grandson. How are they holding up? With God's strength, they're holding up. White says they are all relying on their faith as well as support from family and friends to help them get through this. In the new London newsroom at the day, Tina Detell, News 8.